Common Fractions Part 2 Fractions of Quantities Question 1 A half of 8 is 4 because 8 divided by 2 is 4. B. One third of 6 is 2 because 6 divided by 3 is 2. C. One quarter of 12 is 3 because 12 divided by 4 is 3. Pause this video to complete question 1. Question 2. One third of 12 is 4. Therefore, two thirds of 12 is 8. 12 divided into three equal parts is 4 and 4 times 2 is 8. Pause this video to complete question 2. Question 3. Two thirds of 9. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 3 times 2 is 4. 3 fifths of 10. 10 divided by 5 is 2. And 2 times 3 is 6. Lastly, 4 fifths of 20. 20 divided by 5 is 4. And 4 times 4 is 16. Pause this video to complete question 3. Use the memo to mark this entire page and correct your answers. Word sums 1. John cuts off one third of a 60 centimeter long plank of wood. If this is the plank, and if we divide it into thirds, he's cut off one third. What fraction of the plank is left? Two thirds is left. B. What is the length of the cut off piece? One third of 60 centimeters is 20 centimeters because 60 divided by 3 is 20. Pause this video to complete question 1 and question 2 by yourself. Question 3. Paul cuts off two thirds of a 60 centimeter long plank of wood. What fraction of the plank is left? If he's cut off two thirds, there will only be one third left. What is the length of the piece that is left? One third of 60 centimeters is 20 centimeters. Pause this video to complete question three and four. Question five. A pizza is sliced into eight equal pieces. John eats two slices and James eats four slices. What fraction of the pizza has Johnny eaten? He has eaten two out of the eight pieces, which in simplest form is one quarter. What fraction of the pizza has James eaten? He's eaten four out of the eight pieces or one half in simplest form. What fraction of the pizza did they eat together? Two eighths plus four eighths is six eighths, which in simplest form is three quarters. Finally, what fraction of the pizza was left over? Six out of the eight pieces were eaten, therefore two eighths are left over. In simplest form, one quarter. Pause this video to complete question five and six by yourself. Use the memo to mark your answers. Word sums two. Question one. What fraction is two meters of four meters. It's a half because two out of four is equal to a half. A. What fraction is three kilometers of six kilometers? It's three out of six or in simplest form one half. Pause this video to complete question one. Question two. What fraction is 
two meters of six meters? The answer is a third because two out of six is equal to one third in simplest form. Let's look at A. What fraction is two minutes of eight minutes? It's two out of eight, which in simplest form is one quarter. Pause this video to complete question two. Question three. I have 32 rand in my wallet. I spend 16 rand at the tuck shop. What fraction of my money did I spend? The answer is 16 out of 32, or in simplest form, one half, because 16 is exactly one half of 32. Pause this video to complete the rest of this page by yourself. Use the memo to mark your answers. Worksheet 4, question 1. The cost of a half a meter of rope is 8 rand. This means that the cost of 1 meter of rope will be 16 rand because the half meter is 8 rand. So 1 meter will be double that, which is 16 rand. Second question, the cost of 3 meters of rope we're going to say 16 times 3 to get an answer of 48 rand. Do a sum on the side if necessary. Pause this question to complete question 1 by yourself. Question 2. The cost of 2 thirds of a meter of cord is 6 rand. This means that the cost of 1 third of a meter of cord will be 3 rand. Two, one third of a meter is a half of two thirds of a meter. Therefore, we divide our cost by two. If one third of a meter is three rand, then a full meter of cord will be nine rand. We times by three because there are three thirds in one whole. So we times our cost by 3. Pause this video to complete question 2 by yourself. Question 3. 5 eighths of a distance travelled is 150 kilometres. This means that 1 eighth of the distance travelled will be 150 kilometres divided by 5, which is 30 kilometres. What will one quarter of the distance travelled be? Remember that one quarter is equal to two eighths. So one eighth of the distance is 30 kilometres. Therefore, two eighths of the distance will be 60 kilometres. Pause this video to complete the rest of question three by yourself. Use the memo to mark your answers. Worksheet five. Two pies are shared equally among three children. Three children immediately think we are dividing into thirds. What fraction of the pie does each child get? In simplest form, an immediate answer, each child will get one third of the pies. Question two. 20 marbles are shared equally among four children. Four children immediately think that we are sharing into quarters. What fraction of the marbles does each child get? Each child is going to get one quarter of the marbles because there are only four children. B. How many marbles does each child get? One quarter of 20 marbles is equal to five marbles each. Pause this video to complete question one to fall by yourself. Question 5. If 42 packets of sweets are shared equally amongst three girls, how many packets of sweets will each girl get? We have 42 sweets, which we must divide amongst three girls. 42 divided by 3 is 14. 
You can do a sum on the side if necessary. Therefore, each girl will get 14 packets. Pause this video to complete questions 6 and 7. Question 8. If 145, sorry there's a mistake in the question. If 145 marbles are shared equally amongst three boys, how many marbles will each boy get? 145 divided by 3. You do a division sum on the side and you will get an answer of 48 remainder 1. Then, this one remaining marble divided into three equal parts will be one third. Therefore, each boy will get 48 and one third marbles. Pause this video to complete questions 9 and 10 by yourself. Use the memo to mark your answers. Worksheet 6. What fraction is 3 kilometers of 9 kilometers? It's 3 out of 9, which in simplest form is 1 third. Let's look at F. What fraction is 8 minutes of 12 minutes? It's 8 out of 12. We can divide top and bottom by 4, which will give us 2 thirds in simplest form. Pause this video to complete question 1. Question 2. What fraction is 6 hours of 1 day? We have different units, so we first need to change our day into hours. 6 hours of 1 day is the same as 6 hours out of 24 hours. 6 out of 24, if we divide top and bottom by 6, gives us 1 quarter in simplest form. Pause this video to complete question 2 by yourself. Question 3. I have 24 rand in my wallet. I spend 18 rand at the tuck shop. What fraction of my money did I spend? I spent 18 out of 24 rand. I can divide top and bottom by 6. 18 divided by 6 is 3 and 24 divided by 6 is 4. Pause this video to complete question 3, 4 and 5 by yourself. Use the memo to mark your answers. Worksheet 7 Question 1 one third of 630 kilometers is 210 kilometers because 630 divided by 3 is 210. You may need to do a, a division sum on the side. 3 fits into 6 twice, fits into 3 once and into 0, 0 times to get our answer of 210 kilometers. Pause this video to complete question 1 by yourself. Use the memo to mark your answers when you are done. Question 2. 2 thirds of 72 is 48 kilometers because 72 divided by 3, after we do a division sum on the side, we will get an answer of 24 kilometers. And 24 kilometers times 2 is 48 kilometers. Pause this video to complete question 2. Question 3. Paul loses two thirds of his 63 marbles. How many marbles did he lose? 63 divided by 3 is 21. And 21 times 2 is 42. Therefore, he lost 42 marbles. Pause this video to complete question 3 and 4. Use the memo to mark your answers for this page. Worksheet 8. The gardener used one-fifth of the water in a 200-litre tank to water the roses 
and two-fifths of the water to water the vegetables. A. The fraction of the water left in the tank is what? One-fifth plus two-fifths, so three-fifths of the water has been used. Therefore, the fraction of the water left will be two-fifths. B. The number of litres of water left in a tank. Two-fifths of 200 litres is equal to 20 divided by 5 is 4, therefore 200 divided by 5 is 40, and 40 times 2 gives us an answer of 80 litres which are left. Let's look at question 2. John used one half of a 72 meter roll of rope and Jack used one third of the rest of the rope. A. The length of rope used by John. A half of 72 meters is 36 meters. Do a sum on the side if necessary. The length of rope left. If 36 meters were used, 36 meters are left. The length of the rope used by Jack, he used one third of 36 meters, which gives us 12 meters. Then, the total length of the rope used by John, John and Jack, that is 36 plus 12, which gives us 48 meters. Pause this video to complete up to question 3 on this page. Question 4. Maud spent one half of a 40 rand pocket money on a present for her friend and one quarter of the remaining money on sweets. How much pocket money does she have left? So, she spent one half of her pocket money on a present, so she spent 20 rand on a present. Therefore, she has 20 rand left. Of this 20 rand, she spends a quarter of it on sweets. A quarter of 20 rand is 5 rand. Therefore, in total, she has spent 20 rand on a present and 5 rand on sweets. So she has spent 25 rand. The question is, how much pocket money does she have left? 40 rand minus 25 rand means that she has 15 rand of her pocket money left. Pause this video to complete question 4 and 5. Use the memo to mark your answers.